Hey you guys, so this is just a really quick review specifically on size comparison for this Keep All 55 and the Neverfull GM. Um, there's tons of reviews out there on the Keep All. Essentially, it's just a giant duffel bag. This is just to help people that are trying to figure out the size. Because for me, what I had on hand at home, I already owned the Neverfull GM, and that was my largest bag. So that was something where I could say, okay, I know how big that is. How big is this item compared to what I already am familiar with and comfortable with? Um, because I was buying this without having had tried it on before. So, for those people who are out there who are also wondering something similar, this is a review just just for that. So, um, and, I, and I really just wanted to do like some mod shots for you because that's what I think is the most helpful. So I'm 5'4". And this is the Neverfull GM. And then this is a key ball. And this is one. This one? Mm -hmm. A two-year-old. And this one. I put some stuff in here just so it fill out because it is really hard to um to keep it shaped. And absolutely, if anyone's considering getting a key ball without a bandolier strap, I wouldn't do it because it's just so heavy. So I couldn't imagine lugging this through an airport without having a crossbody. So, again, never full GM. This is truly bigger than, let's say you have like a, a, a true duffel bag for a gym bag. You have like an Adidas or a Nike, like true duffel bag. This is definitely bigger than that. I mean, obviously you can look at dimensions and look at inches and, and mathematically see that clearly this would measure out larger than the Neverfull. But I'm just somebody who's a real visual person. And so, sure, I can see that the numbers are different, but for me to see how it actually wears, That is just um, helpful for me. So, in case somebody doesn't have the Neverfull GM, but maybe they have the Delightful MM, this will give you a bit of an idea. Honestly, if I was traveling and like I was carrying on on the airplane and I needed to bring two things, I would probably do this and my delightful because this seems much more manageable size-wise. Oh my God, picture me walking to the airport with the baby and this stuff, totally I would do it. Um, but the Neverfull is just, the GM is just way too big for travel in terms of having that that big corner stick out around your elbow and all that. So I really like the delightful for that. So there's that. And then I do want to do a review down the road when I have time of uh, my keep all bandolier strap on my delightful. I actually had bought my delightful months ago and I got the keep all strap as a replacement part for this so I could wear this as a crossbody kind of um, be hands free so long story short I already owned the keep all strap which was awesome pretty much brand new and I saw this this keep all come up for sale um, with, with just really light the shadow which I was really happy about and it was missing the keep all strap well, I already had it. So I said, well, who cares if I'm missing it? I'll just go ahead and get this one pre-loved. And I happened to be lucky and already own the strap for it. 
which was just really exciting. So this is a, a good forever piece that I'll just have for all the years to come. And it does have some slight discoloration where like this piece of the bichetta is a little bit darker than the handles and whatnot. Um, but I would rather have the, dis the mis mismatched kind of really light shades of bichetta than a really old one that was all like dirty and stained and worn and wrinkled. Um, that would bother me way more than having this is just slightly darker than up here and my straps a slightly different color but it's all in general like a pretty similar tone and I can live with that. So okay long story short this bag's huge. I wouldn't suggest getting the keep all without the bandolier strap because once you load it up girl you're not taking that anywhere. It's like way heavy. Um, okay thanks so much guys. Bye.